MP9. Definitely an impressive little gun. Let me tell you all about it. So for warm up, I decided to hop in some Valve Deathmatch. I quickly realized nobody plays fucking Valve Deathmatch. But so I decided, fuck it, and started tearing through the bots. Okay, so as I said, MP9 is quite good. Definitely not an SMG you should be sleeping on. And to be honest with you, on the CT side, it is the best SMG you could possibly use. Of course, depending on your playstyle. If you disagree, let me know by leaving a steamy comment down below. Of course, with the nice SMG $600 kill reward, it is a great round 2, round 3, an anti-eco round buy. Even if it is a mid-game stress buy, it is still, as some may consider, a better choice over the shotguns. Now why is that? This is mainly due to the fact that you can actually rotate to a different bombsite with an SMG and also have a chance when it comes to gunfights at medium to somewhat long ranges. Now that we have cleared up the general image of the weapon, let's go over the stats real quick. For 1250 dogecoins, you can get yourself a 2 headshot kill weapon with a 30 round magazine, 120 in reserve, 2.1 second reload, 857 rounds per minute, and penetration of 60%. It also allows you to move at 240 units per second. That is faster than any shotgun or any other viable CT side SMG, excluding the big PP, because that thing is absolutely overpowered. After the stats, you may think, this is all I have to say about the MP9. However, at the same time, you made it this far into the video, and I'm not about to let you down. So let me tell you some crucial info about the MP9, okay? So first of all, the MP9 is not a user-friendly gun whatsoever, it has a big dick energy recoil, and you better be ready to put some practice into that. See, the pattern says it all. So once I have some understanding of the recoil, I assume I can forget about the existence of other SMGs. That's wrong. At least not yet. You should also understand what kind of gunfights you should focus on participating in. Let's first talk about the ones you will have no chance at winning. <coughs> If there's more than two enemies, you're fucked, okay bud? Don't even try it. Now you can always use the MP9 for this easy strat, where you wait around a corner for a quick frag and then steal their life savings and move to another country. If you are sure there is one to two enemies waiting to come out of the closet, you can surprise them with your quick maneuverability that is enhanced by its moving and jumping accuracy. In CS, the closet would be overpass bathrooms, dust to mid doors and lower tons, mirage palace and so on. Always try to have closer encounters, to make sure they jump in their chair after the two dinks blast through their eardrum. Have you thought about why we're picking the MP9 as the best CT side SMG? Well it is due to its cost. It's the most economic SMG in this case and allows you to substitute the additional cost of other SMGs with utility. This bad boy will serve you well if you put enough time of practice into it. If you need some tips on practicing with SMGs, go check out the MAC-10 guide done by Zuba. And I mean... MAC-10 is statistically the best SMG after all. So the pro game for the MP9 comes from me, since I'm pretty much a pro. So I queued up for some wingman. I quickly realized nobody plays fucking wingman. Eventually I found some people. So I went ahead and pack a punch my op exoskeleton into a medusa. Then I quickly realized I'm not a GN and yossed it out. After being greeted with a... What's up dude? I told him to lose 4 rounds in a row, to give the enemy some fake hope. So we did. Fuck, I knew it too. While looking at the buy menu, I hesitated, but... So I went, shot the enemy, I picked up an AK for the boy, but... Uh, sure. Oh wait, no, I got an off. So I told him I can't use the AK. Oh no. So I told him we have to throw two more rounds to rebuild their morale. He decided to clutch. Rebel. I decided to throw them off with a sneaky smoke play. But they read me like a book. It was time to throw again. So he did. Pistol round was boring, but we got a free deagle. 
Second round I was thrown off by the buy menu, as there was no MP9. So I got a Nova, and I fucking died. Teammate called our revolver play known as... Oh, time to be a cowboy. So I had to respect his decision and got a dig. Enemy decided to push, so I bonked him. I realized he had a P90. Teammate said... He's probably underneath Valk. I threw a sick nade. Enemy swallowed the nade. Then I fucking died. I bought big stick. We're starting to get headshots. We're good. We're, we're warming up, boy. Teammate said... I think he ran around. He was wrong. Nope, nope, he's I shoot guy through wall. Oh! Teammate says nice walls. I say they're insulated. Last round, I buy broken gun. I exploit broken gun. We win. I get a wingman placement. I realize why we won. GG. Alright, you sexy beasts. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you're digging the vibe. And always, always, listen to your instinct. Also, come talk to me in the comment section. I'm currently looking for two new friends as a replacement to the two bastards that...